happen? Coach Oleander is trying to take over the world with a fleet of psychic death tanks, armed with the stolen brains of my fellow campers. Where are you? I... I have no idea. I seem to be asleep or in a trance. Well, don't worry about it. Ford and I are on the case. Okay, I'd love to join you, but I think I need to focus on maintaining some level of brain activity. Ooh, I can help with that. Let me shoot up the place. Oh, would you like to run the course again? Yeah, I... Run the course? But all that sensor overload stuff, that was an accident. Oh, Raz, I knew you were going to overload that switch. I would have done the same thing at your age. It was all arranged to make you an expert fighter, and it worked. Now, if you'd like to run the course again, just shoot the controller on any given face. To close that face up and open another, shoot any sensor valves you see. Fair enough. Even the part where the giant sensor had you on the stamp? Okay, that part got a little out of hand. We won't be seeing him again. Not much to do here except clean up all the cobwebs, collect all... Alright, I just uh, wanted to show you the interesting cutscene that happens if you go into the teacher's brain. So yeah, they're still here. Unlike Coach Oleander's brain where he's just occupied with some other part of his brain, which would make sense, but... Um, so all these teachers are still here, but yeah. Anyway. See you in a bit. Hey guys, I'm back for a minute, uh, just to grab this guy. It's the other vault that I missed way early on. And, uh, very sneaky. They put it just off to the side of the cube somewhere. Anyway. So, he's working under his father as a shoemaker. And he wants his dad to talk about his mother. And his dad won't talk about it. He's like, no, no, it's too painful. Do, do your work. Hammer those nails and do them shoes so people, so people who have to wear the shoes then have to walk on nails. And so he begins to read his father's mind. And at first he sees the beautiful image of his mother and himself. And his dad thinks about how his mother is probably in heaven. It's a very beautiful thought. And then he starts to remember his mother naked. And <laughs> that makes things very awkward. And that's why Sasha Nine left. <laughs> I just I think that's actually pretty hilarious because uh, you don't really expect that. But hey, well, oh hi there, you're trying to kill me, aren't you? Agent Vodello, where are you? Rasputin, I I don't really know. I was on the dock and all of a sudden there was this thing. And then everything went black. I believe you've been abducted, probably by Coach Oleander. He's trying to take over the world. Oh, Mori. Well, if you find my body, give it a little shake, will you? In the meantime, you can shake it in here as much as you want. Not much to do here except... Alright, so that's what Mia says when you uh, go into her brain after everything has been happening. So, yep. Have fun! Hey everyone! Welcome back to Psychonauts. In the meantime, off time, whatever, that I've been doing things, uh, I've been having. Uh, can I please go to the next page, please? Well, I guess I can wear this. That's cool, too. Ah, there we go. So let's see. In the time that I that have spent that 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 has been going on in between episodes and whatnot, I've gone into the other mines and I've found pretty much everything up to this point. So I'm level like I don't know 86 or something around there. So a lot of powerful things. Anyway. Hmm. What is this? Are you working on an abstract piece? Nice use of color. That's an impressive house of cards you're building there. And still, not high enough to reach the sky. 
and free her from her prison. Who is she? I only know that she is beautiful, perfect, and sad. All day she cries rose petal tears, and I can do nothing to help her because my creation lacks something, and it will not stand against the bull. What bull? El Odio. Somewhere along the way, I feel that I lost something important, but I do not know. I think it's your queens. You want me to go look for them? Bring me any cards you find. I must complete this tower. Yes. Uh <laughs> Oh my god, are you all right? Poor little guy. Hmm, little nick on the frame. Uh. Maybe I can cover that up with a price tag or something. Ah, well, this is, uh, interesting. Hello there, dog. Hey, have you seen any really big playing cards around here? Now that takes me back. Poker night with the guys. Man, I miss those dogs. Ah, uh, so that the, they're the dogs in the poker painting. That makes sense. Uh-huh. So the cards? You know where they are? Oh, right. Well, I do know about these four lost queens, but that's all. Can't do much with four queens, can you? Those are exactly the cards I need! Where are they? Forget about it. They're guarded by some pretty nasty characters. Not to mention El Odio. You're better off just hanging out here and turning your head just a teensy bit to the left. I don't know, I like saying that. Ah, well. Uh, let's see. I think I hate that bull a lot. Oh, trust me. You'll hate him even more as time goes by. When he first trapped me in this alley, I thought he was only mildly annoying. What do you mean, trapped? Are you a prisoner of art just like Edgar? I'm a prisoner of that stupid bull. I don't want to get gored, so I hide out in the alley like a, like a low-down dog. <laughs> okay, promise me you won't take this the wrong way. But... You, you are a dog. Yeah, but I'm a saint dog, man. I should be up in the highlands above the tree line. Take a brandy around my friggin' neck. Seeing the world and finding more things to paint than this junk. Which is all for sale, by the way. <laughs> hey, how'd you get out of this alley? We're trapped in here, son. Art is our only escape. Is that like a metaphor, or do you mean that if I take one of these paintings, I can use it to get out of here? If you take one of these paintings, I'll bite you on the leg. If you buy one, it could help you get out of here. They're magic. Alright. Okay, I'm off. Well, see ya. Keep off the street now. So yeah, if I remember correctly, the paintings are important. You need to have certain paintings to uh, get access to certain areas and so on and so forth. Oh, I can I could just buy these. Enjoy your new art there. Oh, Enjoy buy your this new too. art there. Oh, he's painting me. You know what? I have a I have a question that doesn't have to deal with this. It has more to deal with this. Hey, 
Hey, wait, look at me, look at me. Huh. I don't look half bad. Alright, well, so see ya. Keep up this So basically I think we need this one. Treat now. Ah, oh, okay. So that's what that one would do. And this one... It's not really telling me anything. But hey, I'm pretty sure it's this one we gotta use. Nice! Now I can get Edgar's cards! Well, yep, this is the, uh, yeah. Now, unfortunately, if you get through here, um, if you get hit by that guy, he gets angry. And he this does guy. not like you. That's the sad part. Now, these ladies... Let me just, let me just go ahead and show you what that will do. I need this. <laughs> uh, I just find that funny. Alright. Alright, and then up here is a cat. Well, hey, I'm finding a way across at least. Whoops. Okay. Save for another bit, at least. Okay, uh, let's switch to something that can damage it more. Well, after nearly killing myself, that's certainly fun. Uh, let's... Uh, I don't see anything in here. Well, you know. Besides the crying of something unhappy about their lives. Alright. So the main part that we're trying to do here is just basically get past all these things going on. Okay. Uh, oh, I think I know how this one works. This one works by using this. And then you move it. Yes! Okay. Good. Good! This is great. Ugh. Okay, so just gotta bide our time. Wait for this guy to calm down. Nobody cares about your problems! I mean, really, nobody cares at all. Ah, let me guess, this is one of those same things. I mean, this is mostly... It's actually a pretty interesting level. I do like it. Ah, so there's our first card over there. Hmm. Well, there is that. We have to go in and see that guy. I know that we gotta do that at least. Let's go ahead and see this guy. Introducing 
fresh from the Thrilla in Manila, Iowa Tigers! Wake up, little man. Time to go nighty-night. I am awake. Good, because it is bedtime for you, snack size. What are you talking about? You will fight me for my card, yes? Well, I am looking for some cards. Then, small fry, I am afraid the Sandman is going to have to bend way over to reach you because you are so awfully itty-bitty. And then... All right, I get it. Just shut up and let's go. Then I will shut up, but only so I can enjoy the microscopic spectacle of your attempts to make me shut up. I imagine that this guy is that th these sort of fights are exactly how uh these sort of fights are exactly how Magic the Gathering players feel. Okay. Hmm, I'm a little bit confused because I thought I could, uh... Okay. Okay, I know I can do this. It's not that bad. Well, 
Well, that took a couple of tries, but...